Alright, glad to see you following those free video series. In last video I gave you some starting points that can help you to create your first hyper-realistic 3D render. An iconic image that will spot you out and make people remember your name. Also your learning process has to be made from 100% concentration on details, while you dig in into the reference and analyze lighting and textures. So stay focused till you really done. Combination of both will help you to attract new clients and move you to the next stage, which called core connection. This is where you get to demonstrate your professional skills and build trust with your new client slash friend. Treat clients like your friends to keep the positive momentum of your workflow going. And then escalate to the next stage by offering your professional services. The easiest way to build trust with your client is to put all your cards on the table. And that is by showing your working tools and a breakdown of your workflow procedure. Now, we all use different tools to fix stuff. And if my tools are high quality, that tells automatically my client that I can perform high quality work. So this is exactly what I want you to show in order to build trust with your client. Not this. If I show stuff like this to my client, an old rusty tool, that might shake confidence that my client put in me. And he or she might think that I can damage the work, then fix it. All right, so today I want to show you how you can build your quality tools and give you some samples to download as an example of clean working environment. Remember, everything about your work has to be professional. And the more insights you show, the easier it is to trust you. All right, so you probably understood that your working tools consist from high quality Viri models and top premium textures and when you combine both of them together you get professional working tools that you can show in your 3d renderings all right so today i want to show you how to create your own personal high quality v-ray materials library and share with you all those cool 24 textures that i gathered through uh, this scene and from other different projects so generally speaking, you can see here, uh, we got glass, we got clay that I use for V-Ray Dirt uh, with V-Ray Dirt. When I'm not sure which material is going to be assigned, I'm putting clay material, neutral gray. And we have wall stucco that I used here. And uh, we probably can see it here. This is the wall at the background that I used for, uh, for this scene. And we also have light material some cloth, swim pool water, we have leather white, mirror, four plastics, glossy and matte, white and black. We have four uh, metals, gold, aluminum, chrome matte and chrome shiny. And we have also black, black metal that I used for the window frame this black window frame and we have few materials for wood dark coat and, and brown and white wood stone brick bricks and stone marble and we have a curtain which is fabric the last one would be my uh, premium floor that I used uh, through at least five renderings and the floor was always advanced and more developed so let me show you how you can build this library save it and take it with you any place you go any new workstation you're uh, about to work with so we're going to use the sample the pick material object I'm gonna pick this floor as uh, as you can see I gathered here a uh, bunch of squares with different materials that I brought from different scenes and same way with the picker I applied it to my material library so I have all the materials in my slot in the material editor now from this editor I have to go and add those materials to a dot mat file that's a material library file so how I'm doing this I'm going selecting the material and clicking on put to library so basically I have to go and uh, add every material just because I have previous material uh, in my in my slot that's a big library that I'm using I'm actually sharing in the upcoming training 
but for the sake of idea I'm gonna use a temporary library so this is how we want to gather everything in one place we're going to add those to temporary library click OK and then go to the next one click OK I'm gonna go real quick through all of those and add them Whoa, super fast huh I wish I could work like that and get so much money for doing quick job in no time okay so uh, I added everything to my temporary library now we need to go and switch to the editor slate material editor and if we scroll down here we can find our temporary library and all of those were just added right here all 24 material materials so from here we have to go right click save as and uh, yes I want to create a max uh, from this max file a material library and then I have to give it a name and I can see it's getting dot mat for mat so I'm gonna call it V-Ray School 24 Free Materials click save and voila it's been saved now and um, your task is to go and get all the textures if you have structures spread all around you either archive your scene to get the textures or you go and you grab it manually and and put it in one folder all the materials with your material file has to be in one folder so actually I'm keeping all my stuff in the documents 3ds max meta libraries this is a default spot to keep all your materials so all my materials is here you can see we have the very materials um, the main file that I use and of course the one that we created right now very school 24 free materials right here now uh, go ahead copy everything and put them in one folder and archive and then you can take it anywhere you go you'll have those 24 materials with you with this amazing floor that I created here it's pretty complicated but I'm going to give a little explanation on how I created during the upcoming training so last thing how you can load this new material created just go to the material editor slot the basic one select one of your materials here click on this open material library and voila we have this 24 free schools materials click open and here it is all of those 24 materials showing up right here ready to be used and be set up to all your objects in the scene okay i hope you enjoy this download the sample below there's another sample of an office rig that you can download with chairs computers and tables and stuff like that to be used in your library all right awesome i hope you find some useful information here as you can see it is very easy to build your own working tools i also create sets of models objects and other props that can easily merge into the new scene you can download an example of one of my office sets below this video along with 10 free materials so enjoy the freebies and share them with your friends in a few days from now we're going to make a webinar about creation and promotion of your online portfolio so stay tuned and make sure to open the upcoming emails. Post your comments below and I'll see you in the next video. This was Alex, your guy. Talk soon. Ciao.